For centuries, the speed of light has been an impossible limit, 299,792,458 meters per second, a number that feels more like dogma than science. Einstein sealed it as an unbreakable barrier. Nothing with mass can reach it. And yet the question remains, what if we could? To understand it, we must first imagine it, not as theory, but as experience. Visually, the universe would change radically. Stars that once appeared fixed would stretch into lines of light. The visible light ahead of you would shift into ultraviolet and gamma rays. Behind you, red light would bleed outward like a cosmic scar. The front of your ship would be slammed by a constant wave of lethal radiation. But the most extraordinary part wouldn't be what you see. It would be what you stop feeling, time. At that velocity, time dilation becomes absolute. For you, time would freeze. You wouldn't experience the journey. In physics, it's said that for a photon, the path between two points is instantaneous. It is born at the origin and dies at the destination, having traveled nothing. The dangers of approaching the speed of light are real. The dream of traveling that fast hides actual nightmares. Even getting close to 99.9% .9 of light speed, your effective mass would increase dramatically. According to relativity, the faster you move, the more energy is needed to accelerate further. As you approach the limit, the energy required approaches infinity. And then there's the environment. A single speck of interstellar dust, harmless at normal speed, would strike your ship with the force of a bomb. Radiation levels would surge into the gamma spectrum, and unless your ship's magnetic field is flawless, it would collapse under the stress. This isn't sci-fi theory, it's physics. That's why even the most ambitious real-world projects, like Breakthrough Starshot, only aim to reach 20% of light speed. a forgotten case that defies what we know. In 1991, a group of physicists in Eastern Europe, working with inherited Soviet aerospace technology, reported an anomaly during a series of magnetic accelerator tests. According to internal documents never published in scientific journals, one of their unmanned prototypes reached a speed so close to that of light that its telemetry signals ceased to make sense. For 0.4 seconds, the ship vanished from observation. When it reappeared, it wasn't where it should have been. It was 18 kilometers past the projected point, with no signs of collision or damage. Most baffling of all was the onboard system log. Zero seconds of activity, no thermal change, no electrical impulses, as if it had existed outside of time. The report was sealed. The project was shut down. The scientists were reassigned, but fragments of the data survived. And for those who've studied them, the case suggests something disturbing. Maybe under very specific conditions, it's possible to brush the edge of the light speed barrier without being destroyed in the process. Can we do it in the future? The answer is complicated. With current technology, no. But science is searching for shortcuts. The best known idea is the warp drive proposed by Mexican physicist Miguel Alcubierre. It suggests that a ship could compress space ahead of it and expand space behind it, effectively moving without moving. The problem? It requires negative energy, a type of matter we haven't yet been able to produce or control. Another possibility is wormholes, theoretical shortcuts in spacetime. If one could be stabilized, we might cross galaxies in seconds, but the challenge remains the same energy, and structural integrity. Civilizations that already did it, that's the inevitable question. 
If we're just getting started, what if others already succeeded? Some astrophysicists like Avi Loeb have proposed that interstellar objects like Oumuamua could be alien probes. Its trajectory, speed, and unusual shape don't match any known asteroid class. If a civilization had millions of years more than us to evolve, why couldn't they have mastered space-time? Even the Fermi paradox might be explained if those civilizations don't travel through space as we do, but through the fabric of the universe itself, using routes we can't yet imagine. A new way to travel might not involve breaking the limit, but bypassing it. Some emerging theories suggest that consciousness might not be fully bound to space and time. Experiments involving quantum entanglement, remote perception, and even near-death experiences hint at layers of reality we still don't understand. What if true travel isn't about the body, but the mind? The speed of light is, for now, a boundary, a wall, but human history is filled with boundaries that once seemed absolute. Flying was impossible until it wasn't. Space travel was a dream until it became routine. The atom was indivisible until we split it open. Maybe light isn't the end. Maybe it's the door. One we still don't know how to open, but one that someday someone will.